headed to the top of the third. Charlie Blackman due up second this inning. There's his lovely parents, Ellen and Myron Blackman. Myron went to fantasy camp with the Rockies earlier this year. It was a great opportunity for Charlie and him to hang out just like they were back in the high school days for Charlie. And we set them down, got the chance to talk to him. Myron's always been so supportive of Charlie's baseball career. As a junior, he came to me one day and he said, you know, I want to play college baseball. And I'm like, yes, that's the right choice. You know? And from that point forward, you know, that's what he's been focused on. And that's what he's worked to achieve. And, you know, he created a body in order to do it. And uh, he's uh, come through a lot, of, a lot of things like a lot of people do in this game. And it's, it's been a lot of work, a lot of dedication, a lot of commitment. And, uh, you know, that's what he's all about. Oh, Charlie being Charlie in that interview right there. I got the chance to talk with his parents a little bit yesterday, and I asked them about the beard, if, if they're really, you know, like the beard, if they don't like the beard. I don't think either of them like the beard, but they do love their son, and they're here to support him, and they're having such a great weekend. They live just about an hour away, so a great opportunity to get to spend some extra time with Charlie. And, Drew, I know you uh, and Jeff were at fantasy camp. You guys said that Myron was not Charlie's first pick. Can you please explain no, that? Well, Jeff, I'm not in that yeah, room. Yeah. Jeff is. And, and if, well, look at this. That's going to go foul. Well, I'll just say this. He was not Charlie's first round pick, nor was he Charlie's last pick, the 12th pick. He was somewhere in between. And I'll just leave it at that because I, I like Charlie. I don't want to throw him completely under the bus. But partially. But partially. But Myron, you were not Charlie's first pick. And, you were, and you were not a street free agent. <laughs> you were selected. But how fun would it be, though, to be able to, since Charlie's there, to be able to coach your dad, who's coached you all these years, and kind of get on him when he does something wrong? That's funny. One and two. And, you know, through the years, we've seen a, a number of players bring their dad down. One, two. Remember Clint Barmas years ago? Mm -hmm. Clint lost his uh, pop. Couple of years back, but Tyler Anderson goes down. Barmy there, and there have been others that uh, have shared that experience with their dad, Jeff Francis Boomer, who was with us on our Twitter takeover last well, week. And we've had father daughters share their fantasy camp together. The Hurts just this past year, who are on my team, they, they, Shannon and Jeff Hurt. Yep, Jeff Hurt, WAC commissioner. One out, and here is Charlie, who is flexing for the camera. 